this is a historic visit, the first one by an Indonesian head of state to Kenya. And I want to say, Your Excellency, we don't take it for granted. Thank you very much for the consideration you have made to visit our country. Kenya, as I explained to you, Your Excellency, is the cradle of mankind. We are very happy, therefore, to welcome you home. This is where humanity began. And the next time you come, Your Excellency, when you have a bit of time, we will take you to pay a visit to where your ancestors uh, came from. Um, this visit, Your Excellency, is signed, also a sign of goodwill and commitment to advance and cement the close historical ties enjoyed by our two countries. President Widodo and I have had fruitful bilateral engagement during which we discussed various issues, set out priority areas of cooperation and witnessed the signing of the memoranda that you have seen here and a letter of intent to strengthen commercial collaboration and the promotion of investment between our two countries. This visit by Your Excellency reaffirms the strong bonds of friendship between our nations and show our interest in deepening and strengthening our partnership to enable us thrive now and into the future. During our discussions, President Widodo and I seized the opportunity to share ideas about scaling up on collaboration to seize an emerging opportunity towards improving the balance of trade between our two countries. The position at the moment is that we are uh, importing close to um, $500 million of products of different categories from Indonesia, and we export just under $100 million of product. That speaks two things. Number one, that we have an uneven um, trade imbalance, uh, and also that the scope is not what we would expect. Both those give us the two opportunities to balance our trade, but to also scale up uh, our trade between our two countries. The instruments that have been signed here will go a long way in providing the necessary environment for us to scale up that trade. I have also agreed with my good brother, President Widodo, and our delegations that we will be working on a preferential trade agreement between our two countries that will be concluded, as has been instructed by the President and I, in the next 90 days, so that we can provide an even clearer a platform and, and, and an opportunity for private sector, public sector, and partnerships in different configurations to enhance trade between our two countries. We've also discussed trade and investment as well as collaboration in education and vaccine uh, development. Um, I'm happy to inform you that His Excellency President Widodo and I have witnessed this uh, signing of memorandum here in cooperation in different areas, in energy, which will facilitate investment in energy geothermal to be specific, transmission and distribution of the power that will be generated. There has been extensive engagements with the private sector on this subject. And um, it is my belief and finally, that this a will of intent yield results to very shortly. The of the two we have also witnessed the signing of cooperation of agreement in mining and geology, which will involve joint studies, knowledge sharing, and capacity building between our two uh, countries. I did send already uh, officials from our Ministry of Mining earlier last month led by the permanent secretary from that ministry to go and work with 
their Indonesian counterparts, especially on building our capacity around our geology labs and facilities and knowledge. And I am very happy that today we have finally signed the agreement, the MOU, sorry, that will make this a possibility. And uh, I have requested His Excellency the President uh, for the very well-developed mining industry in Indonesia to work with us to unlock our own huge potential in the mining space. Our two nations have also concluded an MOU between the Kenya Pharmacy and Poison Board and the Indonesia Food and Drug Authority, which will facilitate the strengthening, promotion, development, and implementation of regulatory cooperation in pharmaceutical products. Specifically, we have agreed with His Excellency the President that we should never find ourselves in the place where we did when the COVID pandemic hit, where we didn't have facilities to produce our own vaccines or pharmaceutical products, and that it's time for us to work collaboratively and bring on board the private sector to ensure that we develop capacity and we ensure that we can produce vaccines and other products, pharmaceutical products, for our countries, especially in the global south. And I am very excited that uh, there is opportunity for both Kenyan and Indonesian companies to collaborate and our two countries to benefit from the access, easy access of pharmaceutical products. An MOU that it establishes a, a framework that was signed by Biofax and Indonesia Biopharma for cooperation also in the space of uh, technology transfer, contract manufacturing, registration, supply, and marketing of vaccines portfolio that will be manufactured by Biopharma, an Indonesian company in the Republic of Kenya. Again, a welcome development for investments uh, from our sister country of Indonesia in Kenya. Additionally, our two countries have also signed a letter of intent to strengthen collaboration on the promotion of investment flows between uh, Kenya and Indonesia. Again, His Excellency the President has been gracious to also provide leadership so that we can conclude a bilateral investment treaty within the next uh, three months also to make sure that uh, we do not miss the opportunities that come as a result of the visit of my brother, President Widodo. Our respective ministers will continue to engage in bilateral discussions to conclude additional frameworks of cooperation in agriculture, education, and other areas of mutual interest to anger business-to-business -business relations, which is the lifeblood of our thriving interstate cooperation. Six additional MOUs have been signed between our trade facilitation institutions during this visit in the following sectors, oil and gas, pharmaceuticals, edible oils, agriculture, including livestock exports and apparel production. Uh, and let me say here specifically that uh, um, the great country of Indonesia expects our Kenyan livestock uh, sector to export at least 100,000 livestock to Indonesia every year. There is opportunity for the private sector to facilitate that. And um, there is also opportunity for uh, Indonesia to set up a crude refinery, um, uh, a crude palm oil refinery in, in Kenya, again, to make sure that we, don't, we not only facilitate um, palm oil from Indonesia to Kenya, but also to our region. So there are real possibilities of 
uh, investments in that space, and that is why the bilateral investment treaty will be necessary to ensure that the investments both ways are protected. These value addition uh, ventures will catapult the value of our trade relations and leverage on the comparative advantage of Kenya to access the East African and the African market and for Indonesia for us to also access the ASEAN market uh, in that region. We have additionally discussed the importance of entering into a bilateral investment treaty, as I have said, that will provide a stable, unpredictable investment environment, which is a precondition for accelerated private sector investment. We have tasked our two joint teams to finalize these pieces of agreements. We have also, um, I have informed uh, His Excellency the President that Kenya is open for business. A significant step in this direction must remain the relaxation of and progressive abolition of visa restrictions to enter or to entry between our two nations. On our part as Kenya, we have taken the decision to extend the visa-free entry not only to holders of diplomatic and service passports, but to all holders of Indonesian passports. So our friends from Indonesia can now come to Kenya visa-free. I also had the pleasure to brief His Excellency the President on the upcoming Africa Climate Summit to be held in Nairobi from the 4th to the 6th of September this year, underscoring the primacy of cooperative approaches in the search for solutions to the most pressing global challenges of our time. And I appreciate Mr. President has um, informed me that they will be holding almost a similar fit in Indonesia between the 5th and the 7th, but he has graciously agreed to send a delegation at the ministerial level to represent Indonesia in our Africa Climate Summit. Additionally, I expressed Kenya's position on the imperative to democratize global governance and financial institutions, including the United Nations Security Council, and make it much more inclusive and reflective of the current geopolitical context and dynamics. I also briefed my brother, President Widodo, on the expansion and renovation of the United Nations office in Nairobi to match facilities elsewhere in UN uh, um, offices globally. President Widodo has assured me of Indonesia's support for this expansion, and Mr. President, I want to give you our appreciation as a government and as a people. In conclusion, President Widodo and I reiterated our shared commitment to the development of Kenya-Indonesia relations and the full pursuit of all partnership opportunities available to us in the various priority areas we have identified. And I have asked uh, my good brother to consider another visit to Kenya. And I have also told him that at an opportune moment, I will uh, take a visit to Indonesia to scale up what we have agreed in Nairobi.